very much, Mrs. Dufour. Well, uh, every day here in the Bender Kitchen, we have some great guests, but today is a very extra special treat. Uh, speaking of treats, dessert, if you're a dessert lover and you don't want to feel guilty anymore about indulging in a sweet treat, we brought our producer slash multimedia journalist Megan Yost is here to show us a few ways to make a vegan, gluten-free, raw right. carrot. So, so basically we're, we're making ice cubes today? What are no, we, do? we oh. are making a delicious dessert that's healthy and raw. But does so, it taste good? It tastes delicious. I'm going to have to taste it at the end of the show. I will the, be the, the judge of, of that segment. because we go to lunch every day and you get this vegan, gluten-free, raw. Da, 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 da. You always say, I wish I ordered what you ordered, right? All right. Well, we're going to find out today, Megan. All right, how, let's get started. How are we starting? All right, you, we're going to start with the here. cake. We're going to use our trusty Vitamix or a food processor if you have one at home. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to put four cups of oats into the food processor along with one cup of coconut, shredded coconut. Okay. We're going to use our medjool dates. We are not using sugar in this recipe. This is all sugar naturally free. sweetened, sugar Very free. Nice. Well, sugar from fruit. Okay. But it's healthy sugar. So, just uh, a trick make sure that you take the pits out of these medjool dates ah. before you put them in the food processor, or else you're going to have some chunky cake. Get rid um, of your pits. We're going to add some cinnamon as well as nutmeg. Okay. We're also going to add some fresh ginger. This is going to give it a little zest. So we're going to grate that right up, just about at like a tablespoon or so. Um, and also we're going to add That's about cute. six carrots. So what I like to do is before I put the carrots into the food processor, I just chop them up a little bit. And this just helps uh, break it down a little bit better before, you know, it's going to be mixed in with everything else. Now, Megan, you're a superstar producer here uh, on, on camera, reporter, and now you're like an all-star chef here. I, I, I think you should I have your, your own cooking show, like the Rachel that. Ray I mean, I of WTNH. Yeah. Kind of an amateur. I don't really know what I'm doing all the time, but well, I, I, I try. I hear all the stories from your fiance, how you go home, you're cooking these big meals, but I, I don't ever get any leftovers. I, What's up with that? I here, bring you leftovers here, sometimes. Here, sh shift over a little more. All right, so what, let's, what let's, let's just get started putting this cake into okay. our springform pan. We have a nine-inch springform pan. Okay, not so an eight-inch, a nine-inch. Not inch. an eight-inch. Okay. I mean, if you wanted to reduce the recipe, you could use an eight-inch, okay. but so we're just going to put that right in. Look at that. So it's kind of a little crumbly. Thank you, Ryan. Right. Appreciate that. Upside down. <laughs> All right, so if there you want to pat that down, kind of shape that up a little bit. Can okay. you do that for yes, me? Yes, ma'am. And we're going to move on to the frosting. It's a lovely cashew lemon frosting. Lovely. So we're going to start with our soaked cashews. I have about a cup and a quarter. Um, and you just soak it in enough water just to cover it. You don't want to float them, float now, the cashews in there. Now, why are you soaking it? This is because we want a nice, smooth frosting. And okay. this just helps blend it up. We're going to put this, all these ingredients as well in the Vitamix. Okay. Separate from the cake. Um, so we've got our cashews. We've got juice from half a lemon. Uh, we've got one tablespoon of coconut oil, we've got about a tablespoon of vanilla, and we've got about a quarter cup of honey for a sweetener. Again, we're not using sugar, this is all natural sweeteners. Okay. So then we're going to just to blend it up, we're going to use uh, almond milk as needed. You can use coconut milk, you can use water, whatever you prefer. But you're um, a fan of almond milk. I'm a fan of almond milk. I love the almond milk. All right, you did a great job over Look here, at that. Ryan. <laughs> this is lovely. That's an A+. Plus. I, a, I mean, that's pretty darn good. It's, it's, it's pretty good. So we're going to take this out of our springform pan. It's a nine incher, remember it's that. It's a nine incher. Okay, so we're gonna take this out. Whoa. That's beautiful, Ryan. We're just gonna flap that onto our plate. Wow, we did good. Take Maggie. that up. You did a great job. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we might wanna shape this up a little bit. And then, Ryan, why don't you go ahead and you can frost this oh, up? Oh, wow, thank you so, so much. So, I like to just put the frosting on the top. I kind of like to leave the sides open. Although, you might want to cover up some of this stuff that you kind of left. Okay. That's very nice, very nice. All right. Good now, job. Now, I mean, this was a pretty quick recipe. How, how long are, are you cooking it for? I would, honestly, Baking it'll take it? you like 15 minutes. 15 minutes? The trick it? is, though, after you, after you do assemble this, you want to put this in the fridge and you want it to kind of thicken up a little bit. Emulsify. Set a little bit. Okay. Um, so, we're just going to garnish this. Let me grab this over here. You get the garnishments. So I'll, I'll get the garnish. Icing. That's you're doing a, a lovely job, Ryan. Well, I, I practice every night you're before higher. I go to bed. I'm a. So I'm just gonna put a little, a little bit of cinnamon icer. on here. All right. A that, more? That's, yeah. that's probably good. I mean, the more the merrier. The more right? the merrier. I think you gotta taste this. We're just gonna garnish it with a little bit of fresh mint from the garden. Okay. And then let's cut you a slice so you can tell everyone at home what it tastes like. All right. We Do have about like a it? minute left, so I'm I'm gonna taste this. Look at that. I'll, I'll just take this I, one I do have a plate for you. Ah, well, for I mean, who needs a plate when you have <laughs> your, your fingers here? Okay, so we'll bite into this. Now, not now even you, using a plate. Now, you would normally cook this, right? No, this oh, is no. raw. This oh, is, this we're is not, raw. We're not baking this whatsoever. So we're cool. just setting right. it in the fridge, and, and you're good to go. So what do you think? You like it? You know what? Some of the stuff you force feed me at lunch is really disgusting. This, it's an A-plus, Meg. Thanks, Ray. You're a champ. Appreciate I appreciate it. I appreciate all your time. And uh, making me look good on TV every day. And oh, Teresa, okay. of course. Hey, Teresa, um, I, I think we're going to send one home for you and Brandon and Dante. Can we do that? 
I think we'll enjoy it. I'll take you up on that. <laughs> Meg, keep cooking in there then. <laughs>